Global warming in Belgium describes the global warming related issues in Belgium. Topic: <inaudible> Emissions. In 1990, the greenhouse gas (GHG) emissions were 146.9 million tons of CO2 equivalent, Mount CO2 EQ, whose 88 mount came from the Flemish region, 54.8 MT from the Walloon region, and 4 mount from the Brussels capital region. Topic: Agreements. Being a member of the European Union, Belgium, applied the European Union Emission Trading Scheme set up by the Directive 2003-87, EC. The Kyoto Protocol sets a 7.5% reduction of greenhouse gas emission target compared to 1990. Belgium set up a national allocation plan at the federal level with target for each of the three regions. On 14 November 2002, Belgium signed the Cooperation Agreement for the Implementation of a National Climate Plan and reporting in the context of the UNFCCC and the Kyoto Protocol. The first national allocation plan was for the period from 2005 to 2007. The European Commission approved it on 20 October 2004. The second allocation plan was for the period 2008-2012 and aims a reduction of 7.5% of greenhouse gas emissions compared to 1990. <inaudible> <inaudible> Flemish region The target of the Flemish region is a reduction of 5.2% of GHG in the period 2008-2012 compared to 1990. That means average emissions of 83.4 million tonnes CO2 equivalent in the 2008-2012 period. The 2008-2012, Flemish allocation plan deals with installation consuming more than 0.5 petajoules 139 gigawatt hours annually. 17% of GHG emissions comes from transportation and 21 from electricity production and heat production excluded heat for buildings. There are 178 installations listed. The largest emitters are, with their emissions in tons of CO2 equivalent TCO2 EQ per year. Sidmar owned by ArcelorMittal in Ghent, 8,918,495. Total Refinery in Antwerp, 4,323,405. BASF in Antwerp, 2,088,422. Zandvliet Power, a joint venture of BASF and GDF Suez, in Zandvliet, 1,119,158 Esso Refinery in Antwerp, 1,933,000 Fina Olefins in Antwerp, 1,414,550 Electrobel in Herdersbrug, 990,397 Electrobel in Drogenbos, 998,794. E. on Benelux in Vilvorda, 828,920. SPE in Ringvarts, 807,066. Electrobel in Rouen, 730,332. E. on Benelux in Langerloo, 586,961. Digusa in Antwerp, 526,949. <inaudible> <inaudible> Brussels Capital Region Being a federal state, Brussels Capital Region also made a second allocation plan for 2008-2012 based on the decree of June 3, 2004 that implements the European Directive 2003-87, CE. In that plan, Brussels' objective is to have an increase of maximum 3.475% of greenhouse gas emissions compared to 1990. 
In 2004, the Brussels capital region emitted 4.4 million tons CO2 equivalent, an increase of 9% compared to 1990 when emissions were 4.083 mtCO2eq. The emissions come from domestic use 45%, tertiary sector 25%, and transportation 19%, and energy industry 2%. The 4.4 mtCO2eq do not take into account GHG emission due to electricity production outside the region. The 2008 to 2012 allocation plans include only 8 facilities. Audi former Volkswagen plant auto production plant in Forest a BNP Paribas facility former Fortis Bruda plant producing asphalt Electrobel turbo jet power plant in Sharbeek Electrobel turbo jet power plant at Buda Electrobel turbo jet power plant owned at Volta an RTBF television facility World Trade Center building Topic. Walloon region In the second allocation plan for the period 2008-2012, the Walloon region is planning a reduction of 7.5% of GHG emissions compared to 1990 when 54.84 million tons CO2 equivalent was emitted. The plan for 2008-2012 includes 172 premises. In 2005, the largest emitters were number in tons CO2 equivalent per year. CCB cement plant in Garain Ramakwa, 1,515,543. Wholesome cement plant in Oborg, 1,508,060. Electrobel power plant in Monsu, 1,260,520. CBR Cement Plant in Lixi, 1,059,929 Dumont Water Lime Plant in St. Georges, 1,294,087 Other large emitter are cast iron and steel producer in Charleroi and Liege. On October 22, 2009, BASF announced that they will close the plant located at Falui at the end of 2009. That plant had a yearly allocation of 36,688 tons of CO2 equivalent. 